What's great about Jason is that he's played in prosthetics, so he knows how difficult it is to wear prosthetics. <laughs> he was not expecting this. Calabos is, is the Terminator, definitely. Three, two, one, go! When you see footage from Clash and the makeup works so well, then it feels like it's worth the four and a half hours. And, you know, Connor and his team are the best. He's kind of been reformed by God, you know, so he's been deformed. To put on a whole new person is great, because it's exciting. It's what you wanted to do when you started acting, to be completely different to what you are. You messed me up, man. I'm like all messed up, but I'm still street, you know what I'm saying? Gangster. We take three hours in the case of Calavos. We've got it down, Jason. It's about three hours and then a half an hour to get dressed. <laughs> when we would have nine o'clock call times, Calavos would have like a five o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning call time. In the morning. It's tough, it's really tough, but there's a mental way of dealing with it. You either do it with a smile on your face or don't do it at all. Because if you get annoyed by it, you'll never get through the day. If you think that this is gonna stop me smiling, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> it's five face pieces, it's like, like this bit's mine. So there's pieces here, there's a head piece which is sort of like a swimming cap, kind of goes on like a swimming cap. And then there's uh, two cheeks, an ear and a nose. Then there's a neck piece, which is really cool. The neck's the really cool piece, because the edges are so thin, it just tucks in here so you can't see it at all. But when you, uh, and that you see all this great veining which goes into the arm. <laughs> Once you put a prosthetic on, it's like learning to act again. It's sort of like puppeteering, you know, with your own face. You can rework it, you know, like the forehead and the eyes. I mean, it's mostly my expressions. You know, we're going to be looking into his eyes. I, I, I wanted to see King Acrisius, see the once great king who has regrets. It's your eyes. Really, your eyes and your forehead that reads the, you know, aggression or quizzicalness or pain. And then once you put a prosthetic on top of that, once you can move that the same way you can move your own face, then that seems to be the key to making the prosthetic work. I totally want you to get that camera out of my face, all right? I'm talking to the director. This is not a documentary. Oh, my God. For me, I run to work every day. I love it. You can push and push and push sometimes and push too far. <laughs>